Hello everyone, this is Basil the Orthobiker, and today we're going to talk about the Viking Bag's Magnetic Tank Bag. So, some time ago, Viking Bags reached out to me on Instagram and asked me if I wanted to review one of their new bags. And at first I wasn't so sure I wanted to do the review, not because I didn't think I could do it, but let's be honest, I don't want to review a bag if I don't think I can give the bag an honest review and if I don't think it's something that I can use on a daily basis. As luck would have it, circumstances happen uh, maybe a week or two after that offer that soon revealed to me that perhaps this bag is something that I need in my arsenal of bags. Now it's no big secret that I am a Viking Bags fanboy. I have one of their sissy baller bags that I use on a weekly basis. It is most excellent for grocery shopping, laundry day, and anything in between. And it's a bag I really wish I had on my thousand mile road trip to Wichita, Kansas last year. I also have a Viking Bags swing arm bag, which is a solid leather construction. It holds that well to the elements. It looks great on the bike. And I usually put my emergency essentials in there, such as a duct tape, electrical tape, tire patch kit, air canisters, tourniquet, and a few other odds and ends. Now, I used to have a Viking Bags fork bag, but somebody decided they needed it more than I did, so I'm currently stuck with an Amazon cheapo until I can get another Viking Bags fork bag. Now, the Viking Bags magnetic tank bag, also known as the e-bag on the reviews on their website, is a slimline black Cordura bag made for your cell phone, GPS, or any other electronics you may need to have access and visibility to while you're on the road on two wheels. The bag measures about 7.5 inches uh, in length, and it's 5 inches in width, and it's, it's pretty narrow from what you can see. Now the bag should fit just about any cell phone you want to put into it. The only caveat is the screen size the view may fit the viewing panel differently on each phone. I have a Pixel 6 and the screen's almost perfectly sized for this bag, though the edges are a little bit shorter than the phone itself. So while the plastic itself functions flawlessly to my cell phone, the edge functions are nearly impossible to get to work, which is not a big deal. Usually I'm going to have it on uh, Pandora or GPS or whatever it is I need access to while I'm on the road. Now this bag is water resistant, but the zippers are not weather sealed. So I would probably limit this bag to a light or moderate rain. If you get into anything heavier than that, there is the possibility of seepage through the zippers, which could possibly get to your electronics, but most electronics nowadays have some type of IPS rating or otherwise to protect your cell phone or whatever it is you may have inside the bag. Now, the bag is magnetic, as it states in the title, but it has a nice rubberized textured bottom to A, protect your metallic tank from getting scratches, and it keeps the bag firmly in place, uh, preventing any lateral movement in those turns. Now, I did slap it on my bike. I did try to knock it off my bike. I did take some pretty sharp turns to see what would happen. Um, it stayed planted. This bag is not going anywhere once you put it on your tank. Now the website states it comes with a plush insert to help keep your cell phone or other electronics in place, but mine did not come with one. Now in my book that's okay because I'm the type of person that tends to stuff my bags to maximum capacity or to get the most out of my bags. Uh, as far as what I do put in my bag, I typically put in my uh, registration and insurance, a small notebook and a pen so I can write any write down any pertinent information in the moment and my cell phone goes on top of that now yes the pen does knock the cell phone slightly out of alignment but like i said it, i still get control of the center functions like i needed to also the bag is super simple to install and done now there is one caveat to this bag um, black bag if you have a blacked out bike like me this may not be the best option for your cell phone in the summer heat. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but it's been above 100 degrees for the last few weeks, the last couple days being the exception. And I know when I did a test run, my cell phone shut down because it overheated. Now, it's not the bag's fault. It's thermodynamics. Black absorbs heat. Black bag, black bike, 
black cell phone. It's bound to happen. So just be aware that if you have a cell phone in here, you might need to monitor it uh, for overheating or shutting down. Otherwise, in slightly cooler weather, this bag is excellent. Now, I do give this bag a four out of five stars. And there's only two reasons why I'm taking a star away. It's not waterproof. All the bags I have are waterproof, and I need that because I ride, I ride rain or shine. If I put my cell phone and documentation in here, it's gonna get wet in the rain if it rains hard enough. It's not a huge deal, but it, it would be nice to have. Uh, the other point is, I didn't get my plush pad. Like I said, I'm not gonna use it, but it states on the website it comes with it. <laughs> now, the bag is listed as $59 on the Viking Bags website, so head on over there and go ahead and get yours now. Now, if you like what you see here, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit the bell icon down here in the corner so you get any notifications of any future videos I may, may post later on. And as always, thank you for watching and ride safe.